As every eye is closed and every head is bowed right now, you saw the miracles very right in front of your eyes tonight. The people touched, healed, and delivered and set free. My friend, I want you to know there is a heaven to gain and there is a hell to shun. Heaven is real and hell is very much real. Tonight, if you put your head on the pillow and you breathe your last breath, do you know where you're going? Tonight, you can make sure once and for all where you will spend eternity, heaven or hell. I want you to know that tonight the Lord loves you with all His heart. And it doesn't matter what sin you've committed. Tonight, the Lord can forgive you and turn your life around once and for all. There are many people here who have never given your life to Jesus. Tonight, you can make that decision to give your life to Jesus once and for all. You know, when you see all these miracles in front of you, right before your very eyes, that same Jesus, these miracles are great, but the greatest miracle of them all is when one person gives their life to the Lord. Tonight, even as you're sitting there, the Lord wants you to know He loves you. And He wants to forgive you for every single thing that you've ever done. There are also many people sitting here, maybe once upon a time you were on fire for God, but slowly that fire died out. Because of the secret sin that came into your life. There are many things that in your life the Lord's going to actually move out of the way. So your relationship with Him can get better. There are even relationships that many people are in right now. And the Lord's going to break that tie off of you in the name of Jesus. So that you'll be set free from everything that everything the devil has ever done to you. And the way He's held you back. And even right now, I want you to understand, it doesn't matter how far you think you, you were, you're gone. It doesn't matter. The Lord is willing to welcome you back with open arms. It's never too late to give your life to Jesus. There are also many people here, the devil keeps lying to you and telling you you're not going to make it to heaven. You're not going to make it to heaven because of all the things of your past tonight. You can make make sure once and for all where you are going. The Lord loves you. He's going to set you free. This is the Bible says either you're hot or you're cold. If you're lukewarm, He'll spit you out. I mean, the only option you really have is to be a red hot Christian. If you're lukewarm or cold, you don't even belong to Him. So tonight, even if your fire's gone cold, the Lord's going to give you a brand new fire. Blaze one more time in your heart. Now, all the people that say that's me, and I want you to pray with me, evangelist. Those people that say that, show me your hands across the room. Go ahead, big hands. God bless you. Anybody else? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Anybody else? God bless you. God bless you back there. Anybody else? Go pick your hands high. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks. You pick your hand up right now as high as you can. Lift it up for me. Quickly, quickly, quickly. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I see your hand there. God bless you. I see your hand there. I see your hand there. I see your hand there. God bless you. Now look at me. People in this section, on the left section here, look at me quickly. Even as I was saying that today, you felt that stirring in your heart. Even as I was talking about it, you know I'm talking about you. If you didn't pick your hands up when I said so, I'm going to give you another opportunity. Just pick your hand up. Quickly. Pick it up. God bless you. 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 On this section, the right section here. Maybe when I called you out right now, you didn't pick your hands up. Let me tell you, heaven is real. Heaven is real. You've got to make that decision tonight. As I was speaking, you felt that stirring in your spirit. You know I'm talking about you. Just pick your hands up and show me your hand right now. God bless you and God bless you and God bless you. And all those that pick your hands up, just stand up quickly on your feet. Quickly, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up across the room. Go ahead, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly, quickly, stand up. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Don't say the day, don't say the moment. Now, you stand up. Tonight, do not stop it. You pick your hands up. Do not hinder God from doing something in your life. Leave your pride behind. The reason we call people to come, into a, come forward in the altar call is because when you come to the front, you're actually leaving your pride behind and you're stepping forward. God resists the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. 
When you humble yourself, that's when God can forgive you. If you don't humble yourself, God can't forgive you. I'm going to give you another opportunity to stand up quickly on your feet. Don't waste another second. Don't waste another second the way you've lived. Quickly stand up. I saw your hand up. Why aren't you standing up? Stand up. I'm going to drag you up to the front. All of us should have come, come to the front quickly, please. Come now. Leave your place. Come walking up to the front.